This is a 172 page bill, so it's difficult to go through every fine point. But here are some of the highlights that people are talking about today. And, and it's important to point out this is not dramatically different from the bill initially released by senators. And that's because of this top line. It keeps the original steep Medicaid cuts in place. That's a big problem for moderates. And it's one of the things that Mitch McConnell is being forced to deal with right now. It also has a version of the Cruz Amendment. This would allow states to offer uh, parallel health insurance plans like Affordable Care Act plans, but they would not have the Obamacare regulations attached to them. It also adds money to the state stabilization fund. This is an effort to drive down premiums. This is something that Rand Paul hates. Uh, it also uh, avoids, uh, or I'm sorry, it maintains the taxes on wealthy Americans. This was something that was in the original bill and then was actually taken out after. Now, there are other taxes that this bill repeals. This is the highest end ones that will remain in place. And it also boosts funding to combat the opioid crisis, some $45 billion in the bill. So, Jim, right now, senators trying to figure out if this is enough to bring them to a yes. Right now, it looks like the vote is going to be very close.